Welcome to the Kindergarten 5th 6 Weeks Preview. Let's take a look at reading at a glance. Your, your lead standard for reading is Figure 19C, which is they are expected to monitor their comprehension. They're supposed to use background knowledge, creating images, rereading a portion aloud, and generating questions. And then our BISD expectation is that BISD students are expected to read with comprehension fluency at a level D. Let's take a look at the processes. Once again, we're going to have Figure 19E to retell or act out important stories. And so what are the genres that you're going to have get to play with this, this six weeks? Let's see. Theme and genre. We're going to be talking about folk tales and fables. But what we're going to be doing is recognizing reoccurring phrases and characters in traditional fairy tales, lullabies, folk tales, and various cultures. Once again, you have poetry. And then fiction. Students are expected to retell a main event from a story read aloud. And then informational. They're supposed to follow pictorial directions. So you do hear the word retell quite a bit. <laughs> in our word study, we have that you are going to be doing decoding regular words and text of <clears throat> vowel consonant, consonant, vowel consonant, and then consonant, consonant, vowel consonant, and consonant, vowel consonant, consonant words. And so they are expected to recognize words with common blends at the beginning of the word. And this six weeks, they must have at least 25 high frequency words from a commonly used list, which would be your spelling list. In vocabulary, we are identifying words and name of names, actions, directions, positions, sequences, and locations. And as always, each six weeks, you should have at least 10 to 12 vocabulary words from selected from your, your text, your authentic text, maybe your science or your environmental print. So let's take a look at what your word work might look like. With your uh, English, you're going to in introduce the rhyme pattern of it and then ought and be able to practice them. And kids are supposed to be able to practice and reinforce auditory discrimination of short vowel sounds. Um, one of the things with the, the sight words is a thing called find your partner. And in the overview, you'll see it, I have it written out here, about how you might do an activity with your kids with the sight words. And once again, you see from the English word study the rhyme patterns for the fifth six weeks. So let's take a look at our focus lessons. The whole key is how a message a lot and different. The six weeks will examine patterns within different genres and text features. That's figure 19C. You're going to introduce and use three kinds of thinking to pull together all the strategies and routines they've learned. But here's the deal. When you are doing three kinds of thinking, you need to be modeling a complex text in your focus lesson. Then taking that three kinds of thinking into their own reading. I've given you the anchor chart, good readers are good thinkers, and with the three kinds of thinking. And then remember your found a seminal prompting guide. This prompting guide has all kinds of questions that you would ask readers as they read. Then as a part of your three kinds of thinking, you're going to identify big ideas and well-known fairy tales and fables connecting to the big idea, retelling the main event from a story of a character of a story read aloud, reoccurring phrases and characters like the wolf and the villain. You're going to make inferences and draw conclusions about the structure and elements of fiction. And you're going to discuss how titles, illustrations, and simple text features help the reader understand what is the big idea of the text. <clears throat> One of your, your primary toolkit with monitoring comprehension and our main lead standard being Figure 19C, the primary toolkit is a great resource for you to use. Lesson 1 is about monitoring comprehension. This lesson in the toolkit talks about developing an awareness of their thinking as they read, listen, and view, understanding how their thinking matters when they read, and lead the track of their thinking by drawing and writing, and learn how to turn and talk to a partner about their thinking. This fits very nicely into the three kinds of thinking, so this is a great lesson for you to do, a focus lesson to do with them. Again, you're going to be using poetry. Use the three kinds of thinking to discuss poems. Talk about them. Um, talk about how the poem goes within all the three types of thinking. And then in the overview, you have a poem called My Shadow and refer to the instructions in the overview. And once again, you have the Poetry Friday Anthology that is in your library that has about 26 kindergarten poems for you to use in your reading focus lessons. So your fifth, six weeks expectation in reading is by the end of the fifth, six weeks, students are expected to work independently for at least 20 minutes at a time. 
identify and produce sounds for all upper and lowercase letters, write all upper and lowercase letters accurately and fluently, read at least 25 high frequency words designated by for BIT kindergartens, and read with comprehension and fluency at a text D or higher. So now let's take a look at writing. Your lead standard in writing is writing with lit literary text. So kids are expected to hear and record the dominant sounds of words to write phrases or sentences. Our kids are doing a great job with their, their uh, MOY and beginning to see them put their sentence together for simple sentences. So all great things. The processes that we're going to do, again, we're going to do the writing process. But let's take a look at what the students' expectations are. In the planning, BISD students are expected to select self-select ideas for writing based on personal knowledge and experience. With developing drafts, they're expected to write a few sentences to describe a class or personal experience. Revised drafts and revising BISD students are expected to extend original ideas with additional information. And then when editing, they're expected to routinely proof it by missing or duplicating words. So those are your the processes of writing. We're going to be writing poetry. Uh, we're going to be writing a, about um, a procedural text. They're expected to draw a picture and write a caption about learning experience across the contents. In their convention, they'll re be learning about descriptive words. So we would, there's some things in the clarifier on page 16a that will help you with teaching how the beginning of adjectives in their writing. In their conventions, we want them to write legibly. And we're expected to form upper and lowercase letters legibly using the basic convention of print. So making sure that our kids are really doing good on their handwriting. What are our focus lessons? Focus this week, you're examining patterns just like you did in reading. You're going to focus on different text, text structures. Here each day you'll read a different book from a text structure, including narrative and informational text. Use your standing on the shoulders routine to discuss why did the author use what he did? And then write a brief text about the familiar topic using the text structure. And then encourage students to use that in their writing. And at least once a week, call on one or two volunteers to share a piece of writing. Celebrate and use the 12-stage writing rubric posted in your room to discuss the strengths. Use gap stopper routine to make simple revisions. So you just be going back and starting that process with them to, to look back and just very simply thinking about what simple revisions can they make. Now in writing poetry, you can use gap stoppers to create a class poem. And one thing we want to note, that kindergartners are not expected to follow specific structures. Keep the emphasis on playing around with the sounds of words to create a pleasant rhyme. The other thing I want to show is use kids' poems teaching kindergartners to love writing poetry. That is the book that I purchased for you in each of your, you should have one on your campus. This is by Reggie Routman. And it takes you step by step in how to write poems with kids. It's a great, um, a great resource for you. So use that in writing poetry with kids. Now I'm really excited about what our digital team has done. They, um, this is a PowerPoint that they did at TCA using iMovie. So if you'll click on the link right here, you'll see that um, uh, they're doing some great things with iMovie. I hope that's helped you to be able to kind of get an overview. What I'd like for you to do is make sure that you remember that your Norma Jackson resources are in uh, the yearly content and let me know how I can help you. Uh, happy planning!